Hello and welcome back to a new video about walls, let's call it. Yeah? The first step into security are rules. Yeah? We're talking about these items here. Look at this. All those items. There are much more. Yeah? They have all something in common. On one item, you already see it. Yeah? We are talking about this CE. Yeah? Here you can see CE on this measurement device. Here CE. Here CE. On the Arduino CE. A lot of things carry these CE signs. What is this CE sign? The intention of the CE sign was uh, that you can sell within the European Union, you can sell your goods yeah? if they are carrying this CE sign. Yeah? You're allowed to sell those goods. CE, yeah? who's responsible for the CE signing? The CE signing, the responsible person, is the so called distributor. Yeah? This might be the manufacturer, yeah? already manufacturer, or if the manufacturer is located outside the European Union, this might also be the one who is importing those goods into the European Union. Yeah? So the so-called distributor, Inverkehrbringer in German. Yeah? The one who is distributing this inside the European Union has to take care that the products he or she or it or whoever wants to sell yeah, has to carry the CE emblem. Yeah? I mean, of course there are rules. Yeah? <laughs> it's, it's not just because someone needs to sell paint. Yeah? There are rules for applying this CE. Yeah? Last video we talked about the directives according to Article 95, blah 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 blah. Yeah? There are EU directives yeah? and this CE sign here ensures that those directives are followed. Okay, so if you have a certain product yeah? and one of the directives applies, at least one of the directives applies to this exact product, yeah? You need to undergo this CE certification. And if you have done the CE certification, you can place the label on your good. Yeah? And if the label is placed on your good, yeah, you are allowed to sell it all over the European Union. Yeah? Does not really matter where. So, CE does not mean that's a very good product or that's a very shiny product. This is no quality sign. Yeah? See, you can, you can build a real crappy thing yeah? and you can label it with CE if you're following the rules. Yeah? Doesn't really mean it's sensible, useful or whatever is special. Yeah? These are quality signs for quality signs. Well, they are allowed. Yeah? They are allowed, yeah? but not mandatory. CE is mandatory. Okay? So, uh, you have to check if the product is touched or is covered by one of the directives. Yeah? If so, yeah, you have to follow the directives rule according to your product. Yeah? If you follow all the rules for this product, yeah, you can apply apply for CE and then you can print the CE on. Yeah? If your product is not touched by any directive, yeah? because there are products which can be sold freely, yeah? you are not allowed to apply a CE sign whatsoever. Yeah? CE is only for product Products who have to be watched according a certain 
directive of the European Union. That's it. This is CE. And CE always have to be placed on the good, yeah? easily readable on the good, so that everybody can be informed. There are also uh, things on very small goods or where it would simply be not very useful. For instance, uh, personal protective equipment, earplugs. Yeah? You will not print CE signs on the earplugs. You print it. There are then exceptions for very small and tiny products where you cannot place the CE sign with sensible matter. Huh? I looked around here in my, in my room and I found some items which are, which do carry the CE sign. Some of you have already seen. Some of you I will place around here. Uh, yeah, that's the meaning. The meaning of the season is, of course, to, to, to show yeah, you're following the rules of the European Union. Yeah? And that then you have the chance to sell it everywhere in the European Union. Yeah? Finland, Portugal, somewhere in the deepest Wahlviertel, yeah, doesn't really matter. Yeah? Does not really matter. And if you're producing something, yeah, theoretically, if you're producing something for your own user, yeah, and someone else has the chance of using it too, you would have the need to see certify, see certificate this product. Yeah? So if you do some machinery for your own, yeah, and there is the chance that someone else is using it, see certification. Ooh, yeah? necessary. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Of course, one thing is still to mention, if your product is not only one directive, yeah, you have to follow all directives. Sure, yeah. If you if there are directives uh, for your product if your product is covered by several directives, you have to follow all the directives, not only one. One you can choose. Yeah, I will take this one. This looks simple to reach. Huh? Boo, burning. Huh? No. You really have to follow all the rules. Huh? I hope that's, that's clear. Let's see next time. We're going to, to look into what possible directives are there for our field of application. Yeah. We'll have a look into those directives and oh, at least one of those directives yeah. and yeah, we'll see further then what is, I already said, hey, you have to apply for the C, what is necessary to apply. We'll find out. Okay. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.